bow down before him, for he is king of the monsters. <laughs> What's going on everyone and welcome back once again. Godzilla King of the Monsters was directed by Michael Dodger and stars Kyle Chandler, Vera Farmiga, and Billy Bobby Ray. It follows a cryptozoological agency facing off against a horde of god-sized monsters including the mighty Godzilla who collides with Mothra, Rodan, and his ultimate nemesis the three-headed King Ghidorah. This is, of course, the sequel to the 2014 horrible Godzilla and a part of the Monsterverse, with Kong Skull Island being the last one. It is related to that one as well. The special effects was phenomenal. I can't tell you how much joy I had with all the special effects and action sequences that this movie had to offer. It was tons of fun. A lot better than that Godzilla 2014 disaster. I did not like that film. It was so watered down. Every time an action sequence would happen in that, it would show the aftermath. Why do we watch these monster movies? To see the monsters clash. That's all I'm saying. This definitely made up for that. It definitely blew me away. The cinematography and lighting was just fantastic. It was really rich in some areas, and it had that apocalyptic feel. They pretty much nailed it with the score. Now, I have never seen any of the old Godzilla films, but I have heard samples, and with the score they did with this, they nailed it. It, it was just done right. They made it bigger and lifelike. The story went in the right direction, I felt. The characters was pretty good. Kyle Chandler plays Dr. Mark Russell, a former employee of Monarch. He joins a rescue mission to save his family. I thought he did a pretty good job with that character. Vera Farmiga plays Dr. Emma Russell, the ex-wife to Mark. I thought she did a pretty good job. She's a pretty cool actress. The only other things I've seen her in was the Conjuring series, which she was really good in and Bates Motel. In this film, she plays a woman on a mission. It shows such in depth of, that, of this character. I can't go into much detail because I feel like it'll be a spoiler, but yeah, she does a pretty good job. Billy Bobby Brown plays the daughter, Madison Russell, who's also a Scientologist or a scientist, but she wants them to live a normal life, and she's one of those that's like kind of caught in the middle of all this, but she does have a big role to play later on during the end of the second act. It is pretty good. All the rest of the characters was pretty decent. This film was paced really well. I really didn't find it boring or dull moment. The monsters were badass. Mothra was just beautiful. Like I said, I've never seen any of the old Godzilla movies, but and so this is the first time I'm seeing Mothra or Rodan or any of those others. And I gotta say, they did a really good job on that. This goes back to the special effects. In conclusion, I have no negatives. I am not ashamed to say that. I had a fun time in this film. My final thoughts? Go see it, fun ride. Godzilla, King of the Monsters gets an A+. Thank you so much guys for watching yet another presented and reputized video. What did you think of Godzilla, King of the Monsters? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me your thoughts down below. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to our computer screen or cell phone near you. Peace the rip.